Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Vaibhav Roy. In this video, we are going to study about the storage devices. The storage devices are broadly classified into two. They are primary storage devices and the secondary storage devices. The primary storage devices are again classified into two types. They are RAM, which stands for Random Access Memory, and ROM, which stands for Read Only Memory. The secondary devices are again classified into three types. They are magnetic tapes, the magnetic disks, and the optical disks. Now let's study briefly about the primary storage devices. They are RAM and ROM. RAM. The RAM can be abbreviated as random access memory, which is one of the basic memories of the computer today. They cannot hold the data permanently. Hence they are utilized to store several intermediate results and the other temporary data. Data remains in these memories as long as there is constant supply of power. That is, once the electricity is turned off or the power supply is turned off, the data inside it gets lost. The data inside these memories can be accessed randomly from any location. Hence the name of the memory is random access memory. Now let's study about ROM. ROM stands for read only memory. Read only memories are those memories which does not lose its data even though the power is turned off. Due to this nature, these memories are also referred as non-volatile memories. Hence the hence by using ROMs, permanent storage of data can be made. Basically, there are many types of read only memories with the different capabilities. Few of them are as follows. They are PROM which stands for Programmable Read Only Memory EEPROM which stands for Electrically Erasable and Programmable Read Only Memory and Flash Memories come under Read Only Memory Random Access Memory looks as follows The ROM read only memory looks as this. Okay, now that we know what RAM and ROM are, let's continue studying the secondary storage devices. The secondary storage devices. It is the permanent storage device which is also called as auxiliary storage or secondary memory. Secondary memory is the slowest and the cheapest form of memory. It is not possible to process such memory directly by the CPU. It is necessary to initially copy the data present in the secondary memory into the primary storage devices. The secondary memory storage devices holds the information until it is deleted or overwritten. So this is the permanent storage device. Some of the examples of secondary storage devices are magnetic tapes, magnetic disks and optical disks. In the next video we will be learning about the output devices and computer software components. Thanks for watching.